wasabi, you guys. We have a integral with some radicals here. Of course, the first thing that comes up to my mind is to conjugate. Now, is the is the conjugate worth it? If conjugating is going to help, we're going to see if the conjugating is going to help. So the way instead of writing the whole thing, we're going to write this like the square of this x minus one minus x plus one. What is this? What is this going to turn out to be? Okay, so we see that we get negative one minus negative one. We get negative two. Okay, so it seems like the conjugation would work out, kind of, in a way. The reason why I say in a way is because we're still left off with x minus 1 minus x plus 1, right? And we have like a negative 2 here. Now obviously we can get rid of this negative 2 just by flipping this, right? But other than that, what do we do here? What do we do here? Well, you just it's just basic uh, u substitution, uh, kind of intermediate level u substitution. Uh, you would have to do it separately. Again, don't there's no need to like overcomplicate this. Okay, you don't you don't need to overcomplicate this. Just kind of do it separately. You know. All right, let u equal x square root x plus one. I I like to take the square root with it so that I don't have to deal with fractional exponents. And then here, w let square root, let w equal square root of x minus one. So now we have a half, and we have, um, so we have u times, and x is u squared minus one, right? u squared minus one, and then we also you can't also you can't forget the two u du. Okay. Because u square, and then derive both sides by u square equal x plus one, you get two u du equal dx. So that's where that two u du comes from. Okay, same uh, similar process here. All right, we have w, and then x is equal to w square plus one, and then two w dw. All right, here. We see that this is just u square. This is two w square. And this is very easily what this is. The two cancels out the half, and then u square. We have u four minus u square. Here, this one's w four plus w square. And so what we have here is we can go ahead and just instantly write this out. U is square root of x plus one. So we have five halves, or you can write square root, it doesn't matter, right? If you're comfortable, you could go ahead and write it like this. You don't have to do it how I do it. This is also acceptable. I, I just, I don't know, I'm so used to writing it. It just looks, it just looks nicer. But you can also write it like this too. If you're more comfortable that way, that's, that's no worries. Okay, All right? Square root x minus one, you can write it like this, if, so that you don't lose track, right? Minus one. Or that was an ugly box. But this is pretty much your answer. Okay? So don't overcomplicate. Just do, just separate it and then do um, a force u substitution. Okay? And that should be our answer, in which we do have it here. Yep. Three, three terms should be negative, which is exactly what we have okay so there you go that's how you solve that integral and i'll see you guys in the next video